Ladies, good morning and welcome to what is a beautiful sunny day here in Norfolk. My name is Sarah and as we do every Sunday, I am presenting Sunday Styling to you. I'm filming this at our shop in Swaffham and as many of you know already, at Artichoke, Every season we put together for you a cohesive edited wardrobe or a collection, yeah, wardrobe I suppose, which will take the stress out of shopping for you. Each season we have different stories. We've run through the denim story. Uh, last week we had our virtual fashion show, which so many of you watched. I think the last time I looked, it had about 1,500 views, so that's fabulous. Thank you. And today we're going to go through our grey edit. Now, every winter at Artichoke, we stock grey. Um, there are many reasons for this. The first is that um, contrary to popular myth, there are not 50 shades of grey, but 32. And that is why we stock it as a winter colour, because it is many colours rolled into one. Now before we go much further, I know that there are a gang of you that watch every week. Please say hello to each other. Uh, please press the love button when you see something that you like. If you have any questions you want to ask, just type them because Paddy's sitting behind uh, the camera today and he will answer them if he can as we go along or he'll stop me and ask the question on your behalf. If you know of anybody who might like Artichoke or enjoy our Sunday Styling sessions, and the little interviews and edits that we run on Thursdays as well, please press the share button. Share the love, ladies. That would be fabulous. So, on to today and grey. Got my specs on because I've written um, down some little notes here just to remind myself of what we're doing. So grey, like beige, like white, like black, like navy is a neutral colour. So it's a really, really good base colour to have in your wardrobe. Uh, it's very trendy at the moment. You just need to look at all those grey doors appearing over the British Isles um, to understand that grey at the moment is the minimalist colour beloved, or, or, or is the um, neutral colour, beloved of minimalists everywhere. And that's in their wardrobe, and their decor. Um, it's been uh, trendy in houses for quite a while now, but doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And it always, always is a great color to invest in for your wardrobe. Now it can look very, very chic in the same way that taupe and beige and the brown tones look fabulous, but it can also look quite boring if it's all one color. And the way that you um, maintain that minimalist feel by wearing one colour is by changing the shades and the textures. I'm just going to quickly show you. We'll go through the clothes and how I suggest you wear them once we've just had our little lecture. So grey trousers, these are our Igor 6A toes. They are in uh, a charcoal grey. They're online, they're in store. We sell them year in, year out. We just add a little grey jumper here and can you see you have that really smart, smart look that the interest is created by the texture on the jumper and then if you throw in a little grey handbag you've now got three shades of grey and you've got three different textures. So that's how you create interest ladies by wearing one colour but in different textures. Another way of doing this um, is slightly dressed down where you're adding texture and you're adding different shades. These are our Inor very wrinkly trousers. I'm sorry, they've just been hung quickly this morning and we haven't steamed anything. Um, and these have come straight out of a box because they're not on the shop floor at the moment. So these are our Inor pull-on trousers. 
Again, something that we sell year in, year out, along with um, a silver polo neck. And again, we sell variations of this every single year. But this year, we're ringing the changes by popping it under the, get the neck right, the reversible gilet from Pomodoro. So now we have three shades of grey and then pop across body with this for the fourth shade and yet again a different texture. So this is a super comfortable, super easy to wear outfit ladies but as you can see it is about as chic as you can get. Just put this back here and grab my notes again because I haven't learnt them. Oh, excuse me, I am full of allergy at the moment. Now, post lockdown, lots of people don't think they can wear grey. And when everybody was dyeing their hair blonde or red blonde or brown, that might have been the case. But during COVID, um, it transpires that um, everybody is joining the Gombre gang. And so people are letting their hair go back to their natural colour. So even if you haven't explored grey before, ladies, this might be a good year to do it. And when I was doing some research on grey last night, I actually came across a lot of information about how to adjust your wardrobe as your hair goes grey. So that is something that we may well, well, we will definitely do once we've whistled through this season's collections. We're going to do a Sunday special on how to dress with grey hair. Now, if you wear grey, you can add interest as well by using coloured accessories. So here we have a blue-grey pair of trousers, a beautiful silver polo neck jumper, the navy belt, and the navy bag. So again, this is a very, very chic look, ladies, mixing two neutral colours, navy and grey. You can also add a pop of colour. So you can have your basic crew neck jumper with your grey trousers and then add a scarf with the silver that ties into the grey but red in the neckline to really, really lift this outfit. So that's another way of wearing grey in your wardrobe is by adding pops of colour with accessories. So just need to turn the page. I think I've probably whistled through the different ways to wear grey on its own. Um, however, what I'm more interested in is how grey works with existing pieces in your wardrobe, ladies. So, for example, you might have a pair of burgundy jeans and then you add a pop of grey to those and it's completely lifted them. So I'm going to talk more about this as we whistle through the clothes that we've got for this season that would fit into a grey wardrobe or as I've just said if we turn it on its head the grey will work really really well on its own or in your existing wardrobe. So we're going to start at the beginning let me file all my bits and bobs back so that we can do it in order. So then it's easy for you ladies, if you see something that your lives are not complete without, you can either message us, you can ring us on 01760 724948, but not at the moment because the phone is switched off. Or you can email me at artichokecollection.co.uk if these items aren't online, we'll pop them to one side for you. If they are online, of course, I'll tell you and you can whistle over there straight away. So we're starting with the basics. Every wardrobe, you have to get the basics right. And for us in grey, as I've said already, these are our pull-on trousers. So this is the Igor. I wear it as a 7 8 because, as you know, I have short legs and I like to elongate them. I love the high waist because it pulls my tummy in 
and the fact that they are super, super stretchy and incredibly comfortable to wear is just an added bonus. So these are £58 and they are online, but they're not on the shop floor. However, if you come into the shop, ladies, I'm sure we can have a rootle in our boxes and find them for you. The sister to this is the Ina 740 and we also do an Ina 800 as well. The 740 is 29 inches long, the 800 is 31 inches long. Again, high-waisted, just marginally, marginally more roomy in the leg and an incredibly comfortable trouser to wear. If you have very, very long legs, like Christine, who has 34-inch legs, this is what she wears as a 7 8 and um, she just looks fab in them. We all go down a size, ladies. So Christine is a 12, she wears a 10 in these. I'm a 12, I wear a 10 in these. Linda's a 12, she wears a 10 in these. Donna is um, an 8 <coughs> and we have to have them taken in for her. We found one pair that fitted her because really she's a 6 in these and they don't go down to a 6. So if you are a small eight, ladies, I'm afraid you have to give up because we can't get them for you. They are too big for you. Uh, we've been through the navy belt, so I'm just going to pop that down a pocket here with my accessories for later on. And here are our gorgeous James Lakeland trousers. I'm going to bring them right to the camera so that you can see that they're a navy grey based plaid. They have the partial elastication all the way round, so they are a pull-on trouser. I think we've had Donna in them last week in the fashion show. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're not online yet. They're £125. Now we're looking for colour to add for a grey wardrobe or colours that grey might add to in your existing wardrobe. And this is one of our seasonal colours for the magic stretch jean that we've got this year. It is called Barolo, which is a red wine. And they are this gorgeous, gorgeous, not burgundy, but they are, you know, they are a red, but a really rich, rich red color. 32 inches long. And I'm just gonna grab the polo neck to show you how great they look with gray. So the Barolo are online and they are in store um, and uh, they are a beautiful colour. This will look fabulous with navy and black as well, ladies. For those of you who love the jumping jean, this is the beer. It's B-E-E-R-E, -E -E, pull-on jumping jean. And again, I'm just going to grab this to show you how fabulous it looks with a silver grey colour. We have very limited sizes left in these ladies. I think we have 12, 16 and 18. But those of you who uh, don't have jumping jeans already, if you see, they are a jegging that thinks it's a jean. So they've got the very soft top, they've got the faux fly, they're a pull on, they are a fabulous jean. And they will look great with any grey that you have in your wardrobe. Moving on to the neutral, I'm wearing these fabulous culottes from Pomodoro. Um, black and grey always work together, as you can see from the faux um, python top that I'm wearing, which is from K Design. So these culottes are from Pomodoro. They um, have got the partial elastication at the back. They have got a zip and a fly. They are £73, and these will look fabulous with something like this, which is the faux uh, skin uh, top from K Design, which I think is 69 pounds, but we'll get to that when we move further along. But again, virtually everything that we've got on this rail, that is gray, will look great with your black culotte. So if you've got black jeans, you've got black um, trousers, or indeed black culottes in your wardrobe, and you want to lift them a bit, these silvery colours will do the job perfectly. Pomodoro culottes, £73 online and in store. And here we have 
black body perfect jeans, which are beloved of so many. Um, they're great for pay people with thighs. So if you saw Linda in the fashion show last week, she's got, she hasn't really got a big bottom. She's got a, a waist, but she carries weight in her thighs in the same way that Donna does, which is why they love these jeans so much. But if we just whistle through here and find this bare arm jumper, see how it's lifted your black jeans immediately. So it really, really brightens clothes in the middle of winter, but still stays uber, uber sophisticated because you're still in the same color palette all the way through. This has jumped out of sequence, so we'll just pop that back there. You can tell I did this in a hurry on Friday night, ladies, couldn't you? I really desperately needed to stay at home and do some cleaning yesterday. So I whistled this lot together on Friday and um, probably didn't check the order completely properly today. So now we go on to how grey will work with your jeans. So I'm just going to start with the body, uh, the jumping jean again in the stonewash. As you can see, I've put a roll on the bottom of the leg so that you can wear it with uh, sneak, uh, trainers or with uh, short boots. And then again, I'm going to put the oversized jumper in silver with it, ladies. And we've got the grey crossbody, but actually look how great that looks, but it would look equally brilliant with a navy crossbody as well. So it's just mixing those neutral palettes Investing in pieces that not only will go through the seasons, but will work well with each other. So we go back to that thing of constantly dress, uh, shopping in your own wardrobe before you come and shop with us. Have a look at what you've got in your wardrobe already. See what needs brightening up and ask yourself whether a silvery grey jumper will do that. Or if you just want to have something looking a bit smarter a cape or um, a grey gilet, which could possibly tie together outfits that you've already got in your wardrobe. So by that I mean, if you've got a pair of stonewash jeans and you have a polo neck jumper already, if you just pop the grey gilet over the jumper with it, you've created another outfit. And this gilet will tie this top not only into the jeans, but into your pull-on trousers and to your checked trousers. And I think it might even pull in these as well. Yes, it does. So you already have these items in your wardrobe. You've invested 58 pounds in a gilet and it's tied lots of items together and it has moved through lots of items that are already in your wardrobe. So now we move on to these, which are just walking out of the shop. They're not selling particularly well online yet because I think when we did the fashion show last week, um, we, we, you couldn't really see the pattern on these but I'm going to go close up to the camera again I think we're going to do a little video just to show you these trousers Pat can you see the pattern when I get right up close these are just such a beautiful beautiful trouser the pattern is really really subtle it has got a bluey gray in it but also a taupey brown with a little bit of sparkle so if you have neutral colors in your wardrobe already this is going these trousers are going to slot in perfectly we have the Ina actually we have two Inas here let me grab the eyebrow now the Ina is online and it is in the shop and we can still get stock so you don't have to completely panic find that those but the Igor, I can't get any more stock in, ladies. So if you are an Igor lady, you fancy a pair of these, 
Do not leave it much longer because we're down to our final run in these. So here are your basics of your wardrobe. You've either got them, well, you probably have got most of them already. Or if you're interested in grey, these are the pieces that you will be looking at this season, you will be investing in, and you will be building on in the future. Now, if you live in the country, you've all got one of these, and you've all got one of these. The first is a quilted gilet. Ours is from David Barry. We love it because it has the gold fixings. But actually, it can, on its own, or with a pair of jeans, look a bit dull. So what I've done is I've got a black gilet and I've got a blue coat, but clearly it would work the other way around as well. If I just put this up to my skin, you know, it's not doing a huge amount for me, especially as I've left my lip here at home. Pop this underneath, put it back up to my face, and all of a sudden it's easier to wear. So we go back endlessly to this silver colour which lifts everything in the winter. And it's going to do exactly the same with your uh, quilted coat as well. Now it doesn't have to be a polo neck, it could be one of our um, fluffy textured ones here, or it could be one of the... Um, uh, the little notch design, what are they, ringlets, I can't remember what they're called, but those little round things, it could be one of those. But all these silver jumpers will lift the darker colours that you have in your wardrobe and stop you looking as if you died about three weeks ago, ladies. We've discussed the um, heavy knit gilet. Now these are online in navy and black, they're not online yet in grey because I haven't got the photographs up. But these are what we all live in at Artichoke. Um, as my nanny used to say, you need to keep your kidneys warm, and these certainly do. Paddy's asking a question. What colour is the gilet? The gilet is charcoal grey. The one I'm wearing now is charcoal grey. It will be online soon, as soon as I've got the photography sorted. Uh, Georgie's bedroom has been redecorated this week, so I can move my mini uh, photography studio back in it now, so we will get a lot more photographs done. They're a heavy knit gilet. The reason I love them um, is because I like to keep my back warm, but I like to have my arms free so that I can do lots of things. I can work in the shop. I actually wear gilets over jackets to drive to work in. I mean, not this one. But this I would wear over a jacket to drive to work in to give me the extra warmth, but not the bulk of having a coat. So um, I am gilet woman. So again, as I just showed you, this, this little uh, faux fur gilet will tie so many outfits together. Paddy's got another question. The, the previous one, the, 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 the quilted one. The quilted one is black. We have it in navy also, we have it in uh, olive green, and we have it in the most gorgeous red. These are all online, ladies. Slightly shaped, beautiful, beautiful gilets. Now, the garment of the season, ladies, is the cape. They are uber, uber trendy this, this year, which is just as well, because we love them. Um, we tend to stock them every other year. One year we do ponchos, one year we do capes, um, and that's because we're not completely bothered about whether they're on trend or not. We stock them because they are a garment like a poncho that gives you an extra layer of um, warmth, but again doesn't have bulk. I'm just seeing if I can tie them properly here now. I'm making a bit of a dog's dinner of this. Now, this is not great so close to my skin without my lipstick. If I had my pop of red on, this would be looking a lot better on me because I really need a pop of red to wear most colours these days. I'm going to stop fiddling with this. It's got a little, uh, I'm going to show it up here, it's got a button detailing down here so it creates arms. It's a great length. I'm five foot seven. You can get many layers underneath this. This is a really soft charcoal grey. 
So you can see it works with black, it will work with navy. It's a great investment piece for this season and I think this is £45. I'll just have to check the price as I take it off. It's not online yet, but it will be tomorrow. I'm definitely putting these online tomorrow because Donna's on the shop floor and I am taking advantage of that fact and spending all day getting stuff online for you. So this is £45. We've definitely got it in charcoal grey, we've got it in navy, we've got it in bl black, we've got it in chocolate brown. I need to check what other colours um, we can and have got it in. Now we move on to a black leather jacket. Ladies, I know this has got absolutely nothing to do with grey, apart from the fact that you can wear it with grey, but I've been banging on about this jacket for about two months now. It's from Pomodoro, it's just arrived. This is a size 16 and it is coming home with me. It is the most beautiful soft leather. I mean, I could just stroke it all day long. I'm going to get it done up, which is quite fiddly because of my boobs. Those of you who've got boobs like mine will understand it's quite difficult sometimes to see over the top of them. Right, so this is it done up. Paddy's waving his hands. Oh, those capes one size? Or... They are a one size. So, um... I'm not sure how small you can go. I might get Donna to try one on tomorrow, but I know that you can go big. That would fit up to a size 20, I think. You just need to be a shorter size 20, not five foot 11 and, and then uh, a size 20, because I think it will stop at the wrong place then. Um, if you saw with me, it came down to just the top of my thighs. So, um, yeah, once, once you get over an 18, I would think about your height. But what we can do is what we do with everything, ladies. We can measure it from the nape of the neck to the back, and then you can see whether you think it would suit you or not. So this is our, um, I think the buttons go this way. Pretend I've done this up. This is our jacket from Pomodoro. It's a leather jacket. Um, it's slightly shaped, obviously it's just come off the hanger now, so it's a bit stiff. Um, as you wear this, it is going to fit into your body. I'm just fiddling up here because it's my boobs that make me a 16, but yeah, this would fit um, a normal 16. So they're true to size, they're £196, they're not online yet, but again, this is one of the items that I'll be putting online tomorrow. Uh, at the moment, ladies, we've only bought one run in these. And without wanting to press yourself, I'm not sure that we can get any more. So if you really, really want one of these, um, and bearing in mind that I'm having the 16, so I would have to order that in for you, um, either ring us, message us, or email us, um, and then we can put them to one side for you. And then if we have sold them all, we'll recheck if we can get more in. Um, and then uh, we will then uh, adjust the website accordingly to enable you to buy more. So this isn't a pressure sale, sale ladies. It's just being realistic about this season with COVID. Um, as you know, we've really struggled to get stock in. All our suppliers are keeping their budgets as tight as I've kept mine. So there's not a lot of stock floating around um, for us to, to reorder. So I've digressed. This has got nothing to do with um, grey, but it is my present to myself for this season. Still from Pomodoro um, is this uh, gilet. Donna wore it in the fashion show last week. Um, it's just to the top of the thigh. So if you have big thighs, ladies, this is not a great length for you, but for everybody else, it will look wonderful on. It's not a great length for you if you've got big thighs because it's gonna uh, look at your widest part. But for everybody else, it's fab because it's got that waterfall flowing shape that covers a multitude of sins. 
it is reversible but in order to make it reversible you're just going to have to take a couple of tags that are very I mean these are just uh, sewn in with one stitch so if I squizzle it round as this is supposed to be um, the grey story you can see what it will look like once you take the tags and the hanging things out and I mean that is just so sophisticated ladies isn't it again let me pop it over those grey trousers and then let me pop a black polo neck underneath so you're going to have to have quite wear stri quite strong colours to get away with this but if you can that is such a great look so the reversible gilet is 83 pounds, I think. Just have a little squizzle. Turn it around the right way. 68 pounds. Oh my God, ladies, it's 68 pounds. So if you divide that into two, as you're getting two gilets, that's 34 pounds each for each gilet. Now that is a bargain if I ever saw one. So now we're moving away from your capes, your jackets, your coats, onto knitwear. So I've already shown you how, if you wear a lot of black, the grey can break it for you. So you can wear the gilet, you can wear the cape, you can wear the heavy knitted gilet, and that will lift your outfit slightly if you wear a paler grey. But actually, if you like that dark look, it just makes it slightly more interesting that you've still got a very monochrome look. Now, these polo neck jumpers arrived in this week. They're a lovely weight. I would say that they're a medium weight. So they're light enough to wear underneath a blazer, but heavy enough to keep you warm. And they are 40 pounds. We have these also in navy and a lilac that you will see in a minute. Here are our lovely cable knit jumpers from Marinello that I've popped with lots of other pieces already. These are uh, £48. They're not online yet. The signature jumpers I hope to get online this week. These ones I need to do photography on. So it's just going to take slightly longer for me to get them there. This is the basic polo from uh, Marinello again. It's in silver. It is £35. We have this in silver and we have it in the chestnut, which of course is the colour of the season. Not online yet. And we have the crew neck. Now, I meant to pop out one of our insert collars before we started this. I'm not going to run off because I've got to rootle around in a cupboard to look for them. Um, but if you can't wear crew necks, or indeed if you've got any colour that you're not great on wearing, pop an insert collar underneath this. Uh, you'll see that Donna wore one last week and since the fashion show last week we've been inundated with orders so if you can't find your um, size ladies in the style that you want bear with us because I'm placing another order tomorrow and we've already spoken about using one of these scarves which are 19 pounds they're not online they are in the shop scarves lift anything if you have any color that you're unsure <coughs> about just pop a scarf in your neckline and it will work. And our fair art jumper, which I just love. Absolutely gorgeous. And this will work brilliantly with navy, with jeans, with black. And it's £59, not online yet, only in the store. Now, as many of you know, at the moment, Donna and I should be running around like headless chickens um, with our charity events, we run a pop-up shop here in normal times from the shop in Swaffham and um, in October and November in normal years we're incredibly busy moving from event to event, from Christmas fair, doing fashion shows and I had got some stock organised already for the pop-up shop this winter. 
clearly that's not happening but for you ladies that's a bit of a result because it means that we've got a few items that are cheaper than they normally would be because they're from a previous season so the first of this is our Urfo jumper which was £55 and is reduced to £39. Now the one thing I would say about these ladies is that they're quite small. So this is a 10 and it would fit an 8. You probably need to go down one or two sizes in these. We have got them in 10 through to 16. But what makes them so gorgeous is the pearl and the little furry detailing on them. They're a bat wing, which is so, so uh, flattering to most shapes. And they are pretty gorgeous. 39 quid. Bit of a bargain. And this, again, as I said, originally when we showed you with the grey trousers, the texture on this is what's going to create interest. And the same with our Pomodoro jumpers. They were 73, they're reduced to 50, and they have the eyelet, I've remembered what these are called, eyelet detailing in the sleeve. These are great. Look great with jeans, look great with black. Uh, they're true to size, and we have them, I think, in 10 through to 16, reduced to 50 pounds. And to lift grey, you need colour. And this little pink uh, jumper is just the perfect thing to lift grey because tonally it's the same. So it's a different colour, but the tones are the same. So they work really, really well together. Um, I know a lot of people um, are very interested in having their colours done. And many, many moons ago, that you were told that you couldn't actually wear certain colours. Well, now uh, I think the colour industry has changed its mind and actually it agrees that you can wear any colour that you want, but you need to get the tone right. So this is a good, well, actually it's not a great tone on me because I've got so much makeup on. But if I didn't have so much slap on, this is a great tone for me. Um, that's the other thing as well, when you're considering... Um, having your colours done is you actually do need to update these quite regularly. Colours that you thought you could wear five years ago, you may not necessarily be able to wear now. So if you had your colours done 30 years ago, you need to bin them. Um, either go and get them redone or start from scratch. And, and I think probably by now you've worked out what you can wear yourself. Um, I'm actually a prime example of this, so obviously I stopped colouring my hair about three or four years ago and now it is a silvery grey colour. Before that I always used to bleach it, so um, if you actually looked at the two colours side by side, you wouldn't think there was a huge amount of difference in it. But when I have bleached hair, I cannot wear black at all. When I have silver grey hair, even I have to put a bit of slap on, I can wear it. And that's with a tiny, tiny difference in, in changing hair colour. You know, when I was in my teens and my early 20s, I had red hair and a peaches and cream complexion. Now I'm just bright red all the time. So you do need to review what colours you can wear constantly, ladies, and be a bit of an adventurous. Try things that you couldn't wear three or four years ago and see if they work for you now. Now I've lost my thread. Navy. Navy works well with grey. Navy is a great base colour in the same way that grey is a great base colour. So this will look grey underneath here just with a little bit of a gun metal grey necklace break here can you see how smart that looks tying it all together so the little t-shirt is 27 pounds and the gun metal necklace is 33.50 you have a really easy to wear outfit ladies here but it just looks uber sophisticated I know I'm getting a bit boring here, but I do want to show you how it works. Pop them with grey trousers. Pop 
pop them with jeans that are going to fade and you just have a great look here. And pop that back here, pop my gilet back, as you can tell I like these gilets a bit. How to lift grey. Charcoal grey you can't wear near your face, look at this, doesn't it look fab? You've lifted it with an ecru, another base colour from the uh, brown uh, palette. This has got a bit of sparkle in it and it is £49. So if you want to wear grey, but it just kills you, if you put this dark grey colour on, you can only wear the lighter ones, put a colour that does suit you near your face. Now this is one of my favourite tops of the year. It's £60. It's from Marinello, it's navy, it, uh, but it's got the contrast on the sleeves. So it's got quite a long sleeve that is split that you can roll back and it just gives this piece a little bit of interest. So part this again with your faded jeans and you've got a very, very simple outfit here, ladies, with a little bit of grey that lifts it. Silver is great for lifting things. <coughs> You can see I'm wearing this. We sold the extra large. They're not on mine yet. They will be soon. Lovely python print that is so on trend this season. This beautiful garment has got black, grey, taupe and a bright blue in it. So it will go with many, many colours. £69. Going back to tones. This is a tone that works really, really well with grey. And that is this pale blue little top. It's got the V-neck, so it's incredibly flattering to wear. This is Donna's favourite neckline. She likes a V-neck. Um, it's her second favourite neckline because her favourite neckline has got the collar attached to it. But this is great for booby ladies. Slightly shorter at the front so you can tuck it in, which means it's great for ladies with bottoms as well because you can see the pleating at the back which will take the garment out which is longer at the back over your bottom three quarter sleeve beautiful beautiful top 39 pounds again also available in the chestnut now to lift grey another garment that will do this is our top from tinter which has beautiful jeweled colours in it. So it's got purple, it's got gold thread going through it, it's got silver thread going through it, it's got turquoise. And if you have got a grey pair of trousers or a grey pair of jeans, you pop this with it, these will immediately update it, bring them on trend for this season because it has the high neck ruffle. You can wear it to your Zoom meetings and you will look so smart on your top half. But again, it looks beautiful with jeans, so dress down at the weekends. Very, very useful top, ladies. Um, and this you can actually drag out for Christmas as well. You know, Christmas is not going to be what it usually is, so we're not going to be wearing uh, lots and lots of frocks. But I'm sure that we'll all want to make the effort on Christmas Day. Um, and God help us if we're Zooming our relatives rather than being with them. This is just such a pretty top to wear. As is this little bit of gorgeousness. So again, this is from Tinta. This is £79. This will look fabulous with grey trousers. I mean, doesn't that look gorgeous, ladies? But look at it when it's tucked in to a pair of black jeans absolutely fabulous and then just to add a little bit of warmth and ring the changes wear it with your faded jeans ladies instead of getting too hung up about the price of a piece think how often you will be wearing it so just in this little 40 minute demonstration, this has already paid for itself because it's been matched with so many outfits. 
This is a top that you might initially dismiss because of the times that we're living in. You'll think, oh, it's a bit too sparkly, it's a bit too posh. Well, I've just shown you four ways to wear it. Um, Christmas as the last top, Zoom meetings for work, and two ways with your jeans. So this is a £79. I've already shown you four outfits you can wear with this. So you can wear this every single week throughout the winter. You will get the wear out of these pieces because you've bought it because you love it. And if you love it and it sits with existing pieces in your wardrobe, it is a very, very sound investment. So now moving on to that little Ted Baker look. This is a top that will lift any grey outfit. Going back to my trousers again, look how smart that looks. Again, because it's a K design, it has got so many colours in it. And this, ladies, because of the taupe and the creams in it, will work equally well with a taupe-based wardrobe. So this will work really well with navies, it will work really well with greys, it will work really well with um, browns, and because it's got black in it, it will work really well with black. So you have one top here, which is £69, that will work, actually I've missed out the white, it will look fabulous with white jeans. So that's five base colours, ladies, this top will work with so i know i'm droning on a bit but hopefully i'm getting through to you about thinking about pieces before you buy them think where they're going to sit with and then don't have a nervous breakdown because they're not costing you a tenner because cost per wear you're going to get a lot more for your money this is for ladies who get hot not everybody moves into 87 layers um, and those amazing Marks and Spencers vests. I hope you've all got them, ladies, if you don't get hot. Um, they're the ones from M&S. They have long sleeves. I've forgotten what they are, but they're a very, very, very fine cotton, and they're in the thermal department. I wear them in the shop, and I can wear slinky dresses all year round with my M&S thermals on. So I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend those, ladies. Um, if you haven't got any, get some M&S thermals, but this is for those of you who don't need them. Again, another top that will work with every colour you have. It will sit with grey, it will sit with taupe, it will sit with black, it will sit with white, it will sit with navy. I'm sharing all my buying secrets with you ladies. When we buy pieces, we choose pieces that will sit with as many colours that you have in your wardrobe as possible. And again, a grey base top that has black in it, it has white in it, it has taupe in it, it has the chestnut that's so on trend this season. So it will sit with so many colours. It will sit with grey, it will sit with blue, it will sit with black. I think we might be pushing it with this. Yeah, it looks mad with that, but look, it looks great with that. And this, ladies, is about the tone I was telling you about. This is too blue, but this is a warmer tone. So this, this little top will sit with all this. You've also got it in green. It is online. It is £39. Um, I'm a 16. I would wear an extra large. I can hoof myself into a large, but it's a bit too fitted for my liking. So um, wear an XL, so uh, XL is a 16, large is a 14, and you can go down from there. Going back to another basic tee, this little pink works so well with grey, but again, taking you through the colours, it works well with denim, it works well with the uh, burgundy trousers, actually it works well with those trousers as well. It works well with black. I'm boring myself at the moment. This is free because it's not priced. I think these are about 16 or 17 quid. They're not online yet, but they will be soon. So again, a basic t-shirt that will tie lots and lots of garments together. Now we're moving on to shirts. Well, we know white looks bad with everything. So this white shirt, 
will lift anything in your wardrobe as well as grey. So if you're not sure about grey, buy it, wear it with white. I just wanted to show you yet again how the grey gilet is going to tie in garments in your wardrobe that you've already got. So you can wear this uber trendy colour. Just pull this through quickly. With your existing chambray shirt and your jeans and here you have a great great outfit and you could be really brave ladies actually and pop the cowboy boots underneath that i haven't done it but you could that would work really really well and for those of you who don't do fitted shirts for our bodacious babes we have our best-selling shirt not on the shop floor at the moment we haven't got room for it but this is our oversized shirt from Grand Wee so it's triangular it comes <coughs> out not hugely triangular but it comes out from the armpits and splays outward slightly so it covers your tummy covers the tops of your thighs looks great with jeans and I've just popped my grey gilet over it if only it were online ladies it will be soon in the interim if you want one so here we have whistled through how to wear gray how to wear gray as a base color how to wear gray with other colors and how to put together a neutral palette wearing one color wearing different shades of the same color wearing different textures to put together a really really chic look I'm going to whistle you quickly through the accessories that are either grey or will lift grey. So we have this silver grey handbag. Look how great that looks with these trousers. We have the crossbody handbag. Look how great that's going to look with a heavy knitted gilet. We have the navy handbag. Look how sophisticated that's going to look with the um, cape but if you have a silver jumper as I showed you before with a navy belt and navy handbag and the plaid trousers that is just such a sophisticated look. As far as shoes are concerned you can wear another neutral. So look at our sparkly trainers with all these greys just look how fab they look with them and again because tonally they're very very similar and the sparkly really, really lifts the grey. As a contrast to all the grey, you can have your navy um, Cheltenham loafers. And finally, ladies, black. Black will look fabulous with everything. Just <coughs> look at it there. Especially if you have got a scarf which will lift the outfit that you're wearing. Paddy's got a question. Is the uh, leather jacket available in different colours or just black? Just black. Just black this season. Um, <clears throat> we could have got it in different colours, but I just thought, you know, we'll get it in black and see how it goes. Now, finally, jewellery. We've just shown you how this gunmetal necklace will lift any outfit. It's 3350. Dante jewellery has just arrived. It will be going online in a couple of weeks. It's not there yet. This beautiful necklace. So it's silver on the outside. And then can you see in the middle? It's got a little gold plating. 34.50. Beautiful little necklace. And then finally, I haven't got these out of the packets yet, but I'm just going to whistle them up. Silver earrings. 24.50. They're fab. These lovely... Yeah, lovely drop pearls. Let me get them out of the packet. Drop pearl earrings, ladies. Twenty-four fifty. Gold and silver earrings, thirty fifty. And then these little blobbly things, which I think are such fun, are sixteen fifty. The silver works well with any colour. Looks fabulous with grey. 
So ladies, I hope that um, at the end of today you will think about grey. If you've never worn grain before, hopefully I've shown you how sophisticated it can look and actually how it can lift other colours, how well it works with other colours. So I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, if Paddy's missed any questions, as always, I will go through the video afterwards and I'll come back to you. If you're looking at this video after Sunday, so if you're looking at, or at it on Monday or Tuesday and you're commenting as you watch it, could you please explain what you're commenting about? Because when you ask us questions about an image you're watching, um, when we go through it again, it's very often out of sync with the film. So if you want answers to questions, please be specific about what you're talking about. That would be fabulous. We're switching the phone back on in a couple of minutes. I'm going to be here for about an hour before I go and buy my washing machine. The washing machine has broken. My lovely man who mends it is going on holiday uh, tomorrow. And he tells me that there's up to a 30 a day waiting list for washing machines. I don't have time to clean my house. I can't go to the laundrette. So I'm having a bit of a nervous breakdown about that. But fingers crossed, Curry's in Thetford are gonna save my life and say, yes, Sarah, we will deliver a washing machine to you the day after next. But before I go washing machine hunting, I'm gonna stay here for about an hour. I've got a couple of things to sort out. I won't be answering the phone. You need to leave a message. Um, but I will go through the video and Donna's in the shop tomorrow. She's in the shop on Tuesday. She'll be able to answer all your questions. I'm busy um, trying to get stuff online for the next couple of days, but I'm back in the shop on Wednesday. Whatever you're doing um, this week, ladies, I hope you have a fabulous time. I must tell you, he will murder me in about 30 seconds. Paddy starts his new job tomorrow. So I uh, wish him luck, ladies. We're incredibly proud of him. And um, I hope this is a great new start to what has been quite a difficult uh, year for him. So thank you, ladies, for watching. We're not doing anything this Thursday, but the following Thursday, even if we don't show it, we're going to record a video that Donna's doing all on her own. And she is going to show you how to dress yourself taller. So we've got that to look forward to in about 10 days time. Next Sunday, we're going to do Sunday styling again. And next Sunday, we will be talking about our Navy story. So we're gonna do a Navy edit for the winter. Lots to look forward to. Keep in touch. Thank you so much for supporting us in the shop. We are rushed off our feet here and also for supporting us online, ladies. We really, really appreciate it. So thank you.